So the last time I filmed one of these videos, you guys really, really enjoyed it. So I am kind of setting up the hamster's cages differently this time. So I thought, let's film it again for you guys. I'm starting off with Bumble's cage. I'm just removing all of the accessories so that I can have a clean slate. I also wanted to show you when I lifted up this house, there was a little surprise walnut for me from Bumble. As you can see, Bumble's sand bath is a bit smaller than the last time you guys saw it and that's because I kind of seen her have some nose irritation and I wasn't sure what had caused it. So I kind of just wanted to take the large sand bath out and see if it helped. Um, her nose is better so you don't have to worry about that but I just wanted to give her a smaller sand bath. I've also been really enjoying making a secret hideout kind of thing so it's just this wooden house where I put on top a bridge on top and she really likes to go in there and groom herself. As well as I got this new cork log and some more grapevine wood. I got these both from Petco and I'm hoping she's gonna like climbing on them. Then of course we're adding in our herbs for her to forage as well as I'm sprinkling her regular seed mix around for foraging. So since the last cage updates video, I've switched to water dishes and I thoroughly enjoy using these and it's a lot natural for my hamsters to use. As well as, of course, I'm adding in my flax, wheat, and oat sprays because the hamsters love these. So then we are going to move on to Tater Tot's cage. I am just going to remove all of the accessories except for the cork log and bendable bridge on the left because she is sleeping there. So I actually got another cork log from Petco and this one's a lot longer and skinnier and I really wanted to use this one for tater tot because I just think it's such a good hide. I'm absolutely obsessed with cork logs if you guys didn't know. And then I'm just cleaning out her sand bath because she likes to dump bedding into it. Then we gotta sprinkle out our herbs and then add in our sprays.
Then I just picked up another one of those Petco wooden ledges for her because she does like climbing her other one, so I thought why not give her another. And last but not least, we have Honey's Cage. And once again, just gonna remove all of the accessories. And just give her sand bath a quick clean. So something I actually picked up from PetSmart is this wooden hideout. I'm really happy with it. It has two entrances, one on each side. So I thought this would be perfect to put by the sand bath so she can kind of go to and from the sand bath in some privacy kind of. And I'm just putting her cork log where I usually put it. And of course, repeating the same steps that I always do. I add in my herbs, I add in my seed mix, and then I add in my sprays. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it could give some inspiration for your cages. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye!